Hello everyone, I am Rishabh from Nixon Infotech. So our uh, basic scenario is like to provide network security and to provide a next generation network to this embracing India. So uh, currently we are working on many parts, we are a company which provides network infrastructure services, but there are many in this segment like there are uh, around 100 companies more than that who provide this network services and there are many small and big companies who are doing this. So what is USP and what, 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 we, what are the problem we are trying to solve here? So we are trying to solve a problem of a DDoS attack. What is a DDoS attack? So DDoS stands for distributed denial of service. It is one kind of attack which can disrupt any network in India as of now because there is a main standpoint reason for this. India has a very weak network backbone as compared to the western countries. So practically this attack can disrupt any small or big companies in this current scenario. So what we were trying to give a solution to this problem, there are many attacks, there are many companies who are focusing solutions for this. Last 2-3 weeks ago, even RBI got hit with a DDoS attack and they issued a notice to all banks to upgrade the solutions for this anti-DDoS solutions. So what, uh, uh, as you know, how who does it affect mostly the DDoSers, the hackers target banks, big companies, medium sized websites, e-commerce companies, platforms and stuff like that. Uh, the the reason for this attacks is just like someone from the competition have paid them to do so or sometimes it's aggression or sometimes it's fun. Uh, an average costing of a DDoS attack is just $5 per day and it can do an attack of up to 10 Gbps. So, so that's what the stuff is. The repercussions are like after a DDoS attack the whole network gets disrupted basically turning down your website or any stuff which is online taken down. Even after the and the attacker is taking the control of the attack. It's not. It's uh, everything in his hands. Like he can do it for around 24/7. He can do it for 30 days, any time he wants. And the main problem is even after the DDoS attack is finished, it takes two to three hours for the network to resume back to its normal stage. So we have this value proposition. Uh, we are providing a secure square product, or let let me call it a service, which gives a, a robust protection against all these DDoS attacks. It's not just layer 4, there are two types of attacks, one is layer 4 and one is layer 7. Layer 4 is basically volume based attacks which affects the network backbone and layer 7 is a type of attack which affects your application, uh, which affects at your applications level. So we give protection against these attacks and not just at the minor level, we give a protection of volume attacks up to 500 Gbps which is currently the uh, highest ratio up till now Voxility has been providing in, in the all around the globe. So that's what the thing is and what, what advantage we have here is we are not just providing an anti DDoS system, we are providing a system which is efficient, which is fast and which is uh, which has a proper support. Like what we have done is we have a uh, we have set up a global network like we are planning to increase this infrastructure. We will have servers across the globe in East Africa means any most almost any continent so that any country in a particular continent can reach us as fast as possible. So even we have uh, by this we have also reduced the number of nodes which reduces the latency at a much better level. Also we are planning to tie, uh, tie up with Nixie, it is an uh, interpeering network of India, it is a government organization. Every ISP in India practically peers through Nixie. So what happens in this scenario is any customer or any client accessing through a, within India would get a pretty, fa pretty fast response as compared to right now uh, when their current networks are operating because most of the companies are currently on Microsoft Azure or platforms like Amazon Web Services who have very less amount of servers in India. This is our networking model how actually and technically it works means like it is just a demo model it is not the whole network criteria right now. Our business model is like we are proposing two types of things like one is a virtual data center we are, uh, which we can eventually start up with and then another one is a physical data center. In a virtual data center we would rent out some space from currently established data centers and the physical data center is stuff like we will build the data center from the ground up. A go to market strategy plans out how we would offer trial services to our customers for a period of like one month to means uh, if they have small requirements, if they have big requirements then we are even planning to uh, integrate with them and try, let them try our solutions, our network at a very better stage. So that is what the thing is and even we would, we would start with uh, for focusing on tier to banks like uh, like RBL and stuff, so that means uh, any big company won't won't migrate their infrastructure to us so easily. So we will build a good portfolio with uh, tie, tying up with normal 
websites and medium sized websites and then we would get on with uh, high class websites like uh, Flipkart and stuff. So yeah, uh, this is a market analysis actually the uh, raise of global DDoS attacks ratio and this is any questions actually the time is up. Uh, yeah, that is the second proposition. So, for the virtual data center, we are looking for money like uh, 15 to 20 lakhs, but for a physical infrastructure, uh, it is a lot of money like more than 5 crores or something like that. Uh, so actually in in India there are means uh, players like Tata and Airtel and Reliance but they offer a solution up to 1 Gbps and they are charging a pretty high costing of it and as compared to the DDoS attacks at we are stage right now a 1 Gbps attack is nothing a normal attack is of 10 Gbps. So the level of infrastructure, infrastructure they are providing is not good enough and it is not up to the level right now. What is the frequency of these attacks number one how long uh, in future do we estimate that these attacks continue happening before uh, ma'am, the uh, basically DDoS uh, currently uh, currently there is no one can say that we have a fully protected network uh, system. Like no one can say there is a hundred percent protected system right now, because even I, I can give you an example. Like uh, even Google can't say that, that I am fully DDoS protected because DDoS works on a very different scenario. Uh, the number of uh, attackers increase, the number of hackers increase, the number of that's why how DDoS comes in. So there is no current net prediction like when the DDoS will end. But the frequency of attacks has been like uh, Flipkart has already equipped itself but uh, the ratio is increasing right now by 2017 the attack ratio is like currently in US and China and stuff there, there are a huge number of attacks but eventually in India by 2017 we expect like attacks up to 100 or 200 Gbps by 2017 so that is what the ratio is. So we want to uh, build establish means like if we provide the solutions to data centers there would be no uh, different type of identity there would not be different type of product we are creating. So I want to keep this USP with me and I do not want to share it yeah I, I have a plan to share it with ISPs because ISPs would eventually need it to protect their uh, normal daily users and we have a network innovation plan so and we want to build a better network for India. So that is in a part of our process like we would yes help with ISPs and would tie up with them for the stuff. So, uh, yeah, actually Airtel and Tata can definitely do this but they have not been doing up till now. Yeah, they can, yes there is uh, there is a reason sir they have already built an infrastructure, a network infrastructure at a huge level. So, uh, there is a, I will give you an example like Airtel has its own network line from uh, India to US. So, what it does it, it does not use Nixie to, uh, uh, to travel for its network because they charge them. What Airtel does is it takes its Indian clients to US first and then it brings back to India. So, he keeps the network until in his own network so it it gives him a profit that is what Airtel is doing right now but at, at a network latency stage point that is a huge disruption for us. <coughs>